Oh, hey, happy Friday, everybody. So glad you can be with us today. And we are excited uh, to be at the Bergen County Restore with the director, Terry Caparelli. Hi, thanks for coming and we welcome you. <laughs> thanks, Terry. So, Terry, we're in this fabulous furniture store or home goods store, I guess, would be a good description. But tell us what the Restore is. Thank you. Uh, the Restore is um, what we do here is we help the affiliate side in um, sending our funds that whatever we make here goes to the affiliate in doing their bills. We just broke ground on our newest build, 95 Sands Road, and so we're all diligently working to make that successful. It's for a veteran and for his family, so we're all very excited about it. Uh, we procure seven donations a day with merchandise coming into the store. Things are constantly changing. And what we do here is we set things up, uh, our furniture is set up in vignettes. So it gives uh, people the idea of when they walk into their own home, how they may want to stage the furniture. Okay, so let's, let's back up just a minute. So the Restore funds Habitat for Humanities right. bills. We're all under the auspices of Habitat. And um, Habitat, uh, Restore and Habitat affiliated two different entities, but all under the same umbrella. And again, what we do is you know, we, we contribute to the bills. Okay, so the, the merchandise that we see here, mm -hmm. where does it all come from? So these come from donors. Uh, there is a procedure that you go online and you donate your furniture. And we look at pictures and we unfortunately don't always accept everything. And we try to bring in uh, the most pristine looking furniture. We do disinfect it. it uh, when it comes in and things get vacuumed and then it gets placed out onto the floor. And we have an amazing staff of volunteers who help do that. Okay, so. so what kind of things, what kind of donations do you accept? Um, well, as you can see in the store, we accept household items. We accept furniture, um, any type of furniture really, except for beds and bed frames. We do not accept that or any um, infant to toddler furniture. So we, ex we take in appliances, washer, dryer, refrigerators, stoves, we will take in outdoor furniture, couches and dining room sets are our, our biggest sellers here at the Restore. We also take in lamps and believe it or not, people are still using lamps. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. And we even take in books too and they're actually still reading from books and not just a Kindle. So it's pretty exciting and um, you know, it's, it's like a treasure trove. When you walk into the Restore, you never know what you're going to find. So uh, the inventory changes very, very rapidly. Every day, things are coming in and going out of the store. Um, and we're very fortunate. We've had many wonderful donors that will give us new merchandise, and um, we're able to sell that, too. Super. Yeah. So you were telling me about an exciting new Super Saturday. Yes, so we came up with this concept that we're going to start Super Saturday sales. So if you are on our Facebook and you follow us, and then you can see every Saturday what we put on sale. And this weekend we have upholstered chairs 25% off. We have armoires at 50% off. We have china and glassware at 25% off. And we're also, we added an extra um, category. We're doing our coffee tables this week at 25% off. So that's just a one-day sale. Super. Yeah. Super. Yeah, that's why we're calling it Super Saturday Sales. <laughs> okay. If somebody's got lovely furniture that they can no longer use, or household items, or whatever, walk us through the process of donating. So many people will come to the store, which we're located on um, Hopper Street, even though our address is officially 121 Carter Street. But they will come to the loading dock area, and then we have two gentlemen back there that will go through the donations, make sure that you know dishes are not chipped or cracked or dirty, um, or we cannot use them. We we try at all measures to avoid taking things in and then having to dispose of them. And again, nobody wants to see things go into a landfill. So we're um, we have, uh, as I said, somebody in the back that will procure those donations. When people come in and they want to donate their furniture, if they're too the pieces are too large and they can't do it themselves physically. We have a truck with two drivers and every day there's at least seven donations that they will go to, seven different uh, stops from corporations, retailers to, um, to homes and bring in furniture. 
Okay, so if I want to donate something, I either bring it. Now, when you bring it directly to the store, do you need to have an appointment? No, you do not. What we usually recommend, we do have an online process, but we also have um, documentation here in the store that tells you what we do and do not accept. And unfortunately, in today's day and age, most uh, most couches and chairs that are prints or plaids or florals do not sell, so we don't take those in. Um, but it's very few things that we have to pass upon. Usually they're in great condition. Okay. So, and how long have you been director here? I have been uh, with Habitat for Humanity for 16 months now, and I'm very, very passionate about uh, being here and um, just the most incredible people that I have met. They've become like family to us. As a matter of fact, we're doing a volunteer day on November 16th for them outdoors, so we have our social distancing. And just to say thank you for all the hard work that they give up themselves to us. We truly could not uh, succeed without our volunteers. Yeah. About what portion of the staff are volunteers? So in this restore, it varies from restore to restore, but this restore, we are 80% volunteers and 20% um, paid employees. So we have myself, uh, Robert Mangelli is our um, manager of the store here, and then we have two gentlemen on our truck, and then we have another gentleman that we were very fortunate enough to, to just hire, and he helps in removing the furniture when people purchase it and then load it into the car. So that's one less job I have to do. I'm very happy about that one. <laughs> Although I do like getting those muscles, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So um, as far as the seasonality of, of things, are there times when... Uh, hey, we can't take any more dining rooms right now. Or, or. We, we try never to say no to somebody. Um, what we then do is we, we will mark things, um, mark the merchandise at a little lower price than maybe we normally would. Um, a, a lot of these people, you know, they're sort of in a bind. If we don't take them, then they're going to have to dispose of them and, again, go into a landfill. So if it's in the condition that um, is acceptable to us here at the ReStore, we'll take it in. And I um, am constantly moving around on the floor and, and setting up new vignettes every day and trying to squeeze as much merchandise into the store as we possibly can. Okay. So at the ReStore, I mean, you've got a broad range of people that you can provide for sure. uh, second homes second homes we have college kids that come in that are looking to furnish first you know their first uh, apartment or their dorms even um, even my some of my kids and my family have furnished things in their homes uh, their family rooms when we get sectionals in in particular we also take in TVs so we have a lot of people come in for TVs um, I literally just had two people in yesterday who were furnishing second homes, and um, it's it's really a large selection of people. Uh, people who have cabins will come in, so they give us a wish list, and if we can accommodate them, then we get in touch with them. So you're still acting like a personal shopper. I am. I yes, I am. <laughs> I really, really am. I am acting as a personal shopper. Well, for for me, it's very important to make people feel. Um, like they're walking into their own homes when they come in here. So one of the things that um, we do, every one of us here, we try to acknowledge everybody who comes in. We say hello to them. We thank them for coming in and shopping with us. We invite them back here. And if they do need help, uh, we try to steer them in the right direction. And if I can help somebody, I'm known, I guess, as the pillow queen and, you know, my floral arrangements here because we're <laughs> constantly moving pillows around and, what have you? So um, yes, so All right. we are so, still personally shopping. So Terry, tell everybody out there your address, your hours. So we are open from um, Tuesday through Saturday, ten to six. We accept donations from ten to five every day. Mondays we are closed, but um, we are here in the building. We are trying to clean and put out new inventory from the weekend. So as long as I'm here and another gentleman in the building that can help load merchandise into anybody's truck or car, then you're always welcome. Okay. And if people want to keep up with you and learn about those super sale 
Super Saturday sales. Right. They can follow us on our website. They can also join our email list. And when we're doing special events here, we also do do-it-yourself projects here. We just actually finished with Homes for Hounds. And we had five teams building homes for their best friends. We built homes for families. And then uh, we had five teams that built homes for, for uh, their pets. We had a rescue involved. We were very blessed and fortunate to have Westwood Veterinarian Hospital came and joined us, and they were a great deal of help. And we had um, food vendors here, and it was all held outside. And I'm happy to say that all of the animals that were brought in that day were adopted. Wow. So it was really nice, and we are going to be working on a program in the very near future. We're in the talking stage right now, but we are going to be making desks for families that are in need of them, and um, we feel as though we've been blessed and we're fortunate to help other families and you know, with furniture here in the store, and we would like to help other families in need of, of the desks that everybody is just looking for now. I must have at least a dozen people a day come in and ask about desks for wow. their children because of homeschooling, right? So we would like to do that and have it be an ongoing program where we make uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 desks a month and we donate them to um, schools, to just families in need of, of these desks and school supplies. So if anybody's got a desk to donate, ready-made. We are ready, willing, and able to take it in. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Super. So, Terry, any last words, anything you want people to know? What about anybody who wants to volunteer here? Well, we, we always are in need of volunteers, and if anybody has an hour a week or 10 hours a week, we will gladly accept you into our family. Uh, we've all come to, to the conclusion we spend much more time here, so this is truly a family environment than with our own family. So we, we will welcome you with open arms. And uh, come and visit us. It's really a lot of fun. As I said, I, I look at this as a treasure trove. Even myself, there are things that I see every day, and my husband will say to me, what did you come home with today? And I'm like, you know, and there's not enough room in our home anymore. But there's just so much, it's so much fun to shop here. So we welcome everybody. I hope you come and visit us. Okay. Thanks so much thank for you. being with oh, us Oh, thank today. you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone.